Okay, so today I'm going to show you a, a really cool card trick. It's basically kind of like a spin-off of um, off something I saw on Ellen, so it's not completely uh, completely original, um, but it is a little bit different, so this is kind of like my take on the trick if I were to perform it myself. So essentially, the way it starts off is I'll have a deck and you have a deck, right? So this is going to be mine. If I show you guys right now, before we even start the trick, I do have a prediction. Okay, so before we even start the trick, that card is right there, and this is the only face down card in the deck. I do promise you guys. I'm going to leave it right there so you guys can see it. I'm not doing anything funny. Um, now, this is going to be your deck, right? So you're going to take your cards, and what you're going to do is you're going to pick a random card from this deck, and this is how you're going to do it. So it's going to be completely random. You don't know my card, and I don't know your card yet. So what you tell your spectators to do is you're going to tell them to go ahead and put the deck behind their back or put the deck underneath the table. This way nobody can see the card until the end of the trick, right? So what they're going to do is go through the deck and they're going to go through the middle of it or so. They're going to pick out a random card from the middle. Now, you got to tell them to put this card face up. Once they have it, they're going to put that card face up onto the deck. Okay, and once it's face up, this should be the only face up card on top of the deck. They're going to go ahead and cut the cards. That way it's the only card that's in the reverse order. Pretty much just like how I have this card, right? So the spectators are going to go behind their back. They're going to go, they're going to pick a card from the middle. Okay, they're going to put that on top and then they're going to cut the deck so it's the only face up card in this pile, right? So from the beginning of the trick, you guys have seen my card. It is the only face down card in the deck. I don't know if it's on the camera, but it really is the only face down card in the deck, right? You could have the spectators inspect it, but for right now, what you're going to do is you're going to show them, okay, so you know what? Your card should what be the only face up card in the deck, so you're going to go through it. You're going to look for that face up card. They could have picked literally any card, and what would they pick? They picked the eight of diamonds, right? So it's a completely random card. You show them, look, you've been looking at this card before the entire trick, and before anything even started, I already knew that you guys were going to pick the eight of diamonds. So this is the performance, and then um, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys how to do it as well. All right, guys, so it's actually super simple. Um, all you got to do is take whatever card you want. You can make the spectator's card be the eight of diamonds. You can make it the eight of spades. Whatever you want, just take this card put a random one, put that into the middle of your pile. Okay, so this is going to be your deck for the trick, and it really truly is the only card in that reverse order, right? So this stays here, that's your deck, that's the only setup you have there, and now in the second deck, the only setup you need is this, right? So you take the card that you're going to force on the spectator, essentially, and what you're going to do is flip that face up, and you can put it like three or four cards um, up from the bottom of the deck. So here's what your setup's going to look like. You have the eight of diamonds right there, and it has to be the same card that you put in this pile. Okay, so that's how this trick starts. You tell your spectators that they can, um, or that you guys are going to have different decks. This one's going to be mine, this one's going to be yours, or you can do a magician's force and just say, like, black or gold, which one, you know, just pick black or gold and, you know, whatever color they want. You can pretty much force the deck on them. So at this point, what you want to do is in order to set up for the trick, you're going to tell your spectators that before they start the trick, you want to show them that you do have a prediction in mind. So this is before the trick even starts, before they even have, before they've even conceived the thought of picking a card, right? So you have their card in the middle, or you have your card in the middle. You say, all right, so this is my prediction. Okay, so before we start the trick, here's my prediction, right? So they have no idea what you're talking about. They have no idea, you know, like what kind of card's in there, but what you're going to do is tell them that they're going to pick a card. Okay, now you go ahead and you can show them the front of the deck or whatever. Just make sure they think, or make sure they know that it looks normal, okay? But don't spread too far. You obviously have that eight of diamonds back there. And what you have to do is very carefully explain to them what you want them to do because you don't want them to mess up this part of the trick, okay? So right now, um, the, the trick is pretty much in the spectator's hands. If they do something wrong, it's going to look weird in the end. So make sure you very specifically tell them, okay? So you're going to put this behind your back or underneath the table. This way we both don't know what your card is. This way we, I have no idea or no, you know, I have no ability to manipulate whatever card you're picking, right? So you give them the deck. You're going to tell them that they're going to take a card from the middle of the deck, just like that. Okay, so they take a card from the middle, you show it to them, and you say, okay, so then once you've grabbed it, make sure it's you put it face up. So that way it's the only face up card on top of the deck and then cut the cards just like that. So it's the only face up card in the middle of the deck, right? So that's essentially, you wanna make sure you get that explanation done. And once you're done with the explanation, just make sure the deck is still in that same exact order with that eight of diamonds. 
And at this point, the spectator is going to take the cards behind their back or underneath the table. What they're going to do is grab a random card, and it really doesn't matter what card it is because they're not going to see it anyways. At this point, they're going to cut the deck behind their back or so underneath the table, and once they complete the cut, you guys, you know, you already have that eight of diamonds that's face up, so when you spread the cards, the eight of diamonds is going to be the first card that you come to, not their actual selection, which is going to be kind of farther back. So when you spread the cards, you go, okay, so you know what? I made this prediction before you even started the trick. Now let's see, let's see together what card you have. So what you're going to do is spread the deck a little bit, and now you can be a little bit lenient at the beginning, but once you kind of get your first spread, Make sure to only spread one card or two cards at a time because you don't want to spread too far. And at this point, you do have that eight of diamonds that they, you know, they think they picked. You can leave that out jog like this. And then to clean out everything up a little bit, you can do a block push. That way you can seal this nine or whatever card they picked, right? So once you have the eight out jogged, you can block push a few cards and then keep spreading like that. And it looks really, really legit. And you put this back on the table. You can show them, you can actually hand them the eight of diamonds if you want, but they can see it for themselves. You say, like, before we start a trick, I have my eight of diamonds as well. So um, the only way this is a little bit different than the way I saw in Ellen was um, I actually showed you guys that I had a prediction before we even started. So, it's, you know, it's kind of cool because it's like the Spectre David didn't even think about choosing a card yet, but you have already picked your prediction and it kind of turned out like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed the trick. Um, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and do so if you want. And um, as always, guys, thanks for watching.